Hi, I'm Dr. Sam, helping you get closer to great skin days. Now, we've just had our April Skincare Club event and the topic was summer body prep. And a really big topic was finding the right body moisturizer because on the one hand, you want something luxy with a delicious texture, but on the other hand, you want to get dressed and go without ruining your silk blouse with sticky residue. So I thought I would address this by doing a budget to lux choice, um, which was a previous video that was very popular and you guys over on Instagram said you were keen. So let's get started. So starting with budget, my top pick is CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, not lotion. Now this comes in two convenient sizes, super sized and convenient for travel, 50 grams. Now why do I like this one so much? Well, the texture is awesome. So that's the first thing. It feels luxurious. It could easily be a lot more expensive, but it also absorbs rapidly. And I can tell you that in our household, we go through tons of this stuff. The key ingredients are a clever mix of humectants with glycerin, occlusis with petrolatum, and barrier boosting ingredients with ceramides, one of the key ingredients in CeraVe's moisturizer range. So that means you're not only reducing water loss um, by evaporation, you're attracting water into the skin and you're repairing barrier function, which we're constantly depleting with washing and toweling and just the, the daily grind. So this is my top pick at a budget. For my middle of the range option, I go to one of my favorite brands, Aven, and their product Zeracom AD Balm. So the balm texture means that it's lovely for summer, so it's substantial, but it's not going to leave you feeling sticky or gloopy. And the formulation is pretty awesome. So it, they come packaged in this um, sterile preservatives kept to a minimum type um, format. And that's quite particular for a van. And it's a great mix of ingredients. So it contains mineral oil, which is a great ingredient for reducing trans epidermal water loss. And I have no problems with using it, guys, in case you're wondering. Um, it contains glycerin, which is a humectant attracting water into the stratum corneum, as we mentioned before. And it also contains evening primrose oil, which is a great source of fatty acids and really helpful in building that essential barrier function. And it's really good for calming itchy, dry skin. So somebody who's on the eczema spectrum perhaps might find this really pleasant to use and it's great for kids too. A little more expensive but you get a lovely elegant product that's cleverly formulated. And then heading to the more premium end of the spectrum and I guess the question is do we actually need to with body hydration? If it's just straightforward moisturization you're looking for maybe not but I think that where Neostrata does things very well is when they incorporate alpha hydroxy acids, their winning ingredient, into a formula. And this one's great for keratosis pilaris, which can be a real pain in the backside, literally, in summer, where they get a bumpy change with redness on the backs of the arms and the backs of thighs. So they've put a lovely formula together with glycolic and citric acid in a base that contains uh, mango butter, um, and also dimethicone for a lovely smoothing effect. So it absorbs rapidly, not sticky, but gives you the extra smoothness that gives you body confidence when you're perhaps wearing a strappy camisole. Um, also fragrance free and suitable for acne prone skin. So this would also work for someone who's prone to marks um, post acne blemishes on the back as well. Go gently with these um, when you're starting them off. Always use every other night at the beginning and make sure that you combine with proper sunscreen use during the day if you're out and about. So there you have it, my three new body moisturizers of choice from budget to premium. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.